Hi guys, this is Tabi Asobi, and today, today we're going to head to Laguna Perfuma, or is it Perfuma, for our latest installation of Explorer Shores videos for Dragon Quest Builders 2. Yeah, so do you want all the dirt and marble that you can shake a stick at? Shake a cypress stick at? <laughs> Perhaps you might even want to recruit a liquid metal slime to your team. If so, Laguna Perfuma is the place to be. By the way, this is also a good place to get grass. If you want to do that old grass swapping trick I talked about in a previous video, where you can more easily create meadows without Wrigley's help. Check it out if you're sick of scooping poop and using worm food to create lots of grassy fields. Yeah, so Laguna Perfuma. You should unlock this island at the same time as Rimey Reef, which is basically right after you get back from Moonbrook. To unlock Laguna Perfuma, you'll need to give Captain Brownbeard 1000 hearts of gratitude which you should be swimming in if you've set up the requisite farms, restaurants, and totems at the Isle of Awakening, aka Lutopia. Once again, you will need to find and identify 30 items on its board, which are scattered about in the island. Do that and you will get an infinite amount of earth and marble for your building pleasure. Architect Arthur Cornby and Michelangelo would have been proud. Fortunately, Laguna Perfuma isn't quite the pain in the butt that Rimey Reef was. In fact, a lot of the items are actually clumped together within the same structures. It's like walking into a bonanza of discoverables every time you come across one of these. Just make sure that you check every single piece of those structures so you don't miss an item. Also, you have a chance of recruiting three types of villagers from this island. Nuns, little girls, and old ladies. I don't even know what to say about that. And I'm not going to say anything. I happen to have recruited two nuns during a couple of visits to the island, so I guess I can start a convent now. Especially if you include Esther from Moonbrook to the mix. This island, by the way, has three special tough monsters. The Arc Demon, a giant Silva Pitticus, if I'm saying that right, and a Liquid Metal Slime. One of those, the Liquid Metal Slime, can actually be recruited. In fact, I remember some poor Japanese guy on YouTube saying that he killed 20 of these things. <laughs> and it still didn't join him. Then you've got me, who ended up recruiting two for two on my first two tries. Maybe I should buy a lot of tickets right now. This monster is good to recruit, by the way, because it'll frequently play a game of tag with you at the Isle of Awakening and give you 100 hearts if you catch it. And by catching it, I mean talking to it once you catch up to it. I recommend riding a fast monster like a Saber Cat Cub to easily catch it. You can also recruit three normal monsters here. Those would be the Killing Machine, Corpse Corporal, and Heal Slime. I can't even tell you how many Heal Slimes <laughs> I had to take out before one asked me for a monster munchies so I can recruit it. I actually went around the whole island, decimating them from left and right. And by whole island, I mean I literally went around the entire island. I wouldn't even be surprised if I'm on a heel slime wanted poster right now. Because I just took out so many of the poor things. I don't know I took that many. <laughs> Maybe it's punishment for my ridiculously good luck befriending the liquid metal slimes. As usual, I brought with me three of my favorite monsters for exploring. That would be the saber cat cub for covering lots of ground fast, the Chimera for flying up and getting a better view for finding stuff or reaching high places, and the Golem for mini boss fights. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tommy Asobi, and thank you for watching.